Meghan Markle's estranged brother, Thomas Markle, has hit out at the Duchess of Sussex ahead of his big brother VIP appearance. The 55-year-old has claimed that Prince Harry's wife walked all over her first husband, producer Trevor Engelson, in a promotional clip for the Australian version of the hit show. Before the cameras have even started rolling, Thomas Jr. has had plenty to say about his royal sister. The reality TV star has insisted that Meghan's past relationships have ended in disaster, with her dumping her other halves. And according to Thomas, it's only a matter of time before Prince Harry gets the boot. The guy she was married to the first time, she just walked all over him and dumped him, he said. Harry's on the chopping block next. Earlier this summer, Thomas revealed that he once told Prince Harry that Meghan would ruin his life as he penned a letter to the royal couple. I told Prince Harry, I think she's going to ruin your life, she's very shallow, the Big Brother VIP star claimed. He has also continued to attack the Duchess of Sussex in the press, branding her phony, a bully and a jaded, conceited woman. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex embarked on a whirlwind tour of New York City last month, their first major trip together since the birth of their daughter Lilibet Diana in June, their second child after Archie Harrison. Among the items on the couple's busy itinerary was an appearance at the Global Citizen Live charity gig in Central Park. The Sussexes took to the stage and called on the leaders of rich countries to facilitate greater COVID-19 vaccine equity with poorer nations. Harry and Meghan's humanitarian work has become a defining feature of their relationship since they tied the knot three and a half years ago. After severing ties with the royal family last year, the couple have remained committed to their various causes. Meghan has continued her advocacy for women and girls, which previously saw her work with the UN. Meanwhile, Harry has kept up his efforts to support military veterans, including through next year's Invictus Games, which he founded. One thing that has changed during Harry and Meghan's relationship is the intensity of the public and media interest in their lives, especially Meghan's. A resurfaced account of Meghan's entry into the royal family reveals how Harry issued a prescient warning to his then-girlfriend that her life was about to change. In 2016 the Daily Express first revealed to the world that Harry had been dating Meghan for several months. Royal biographer Andrew Morton said in his 2018 book, Meghan, A Hollywood Princess, that Harry's communications secretary told the Duke his relationship had gone public. The author wrote, when the story became public, Harry was staying with Meghan in Toronto. After he took a call from Jason Knauf to tell him their cover had been blown, he and Meghan poured themselves a glass of wine and toasted each other. But the celebration came with a sober warning, Harry telling Meghan, our lives will never be the same again. Harry was staying in Toronto where Meghan was filming for US legal drama, Suits in which she played Rachel Zane. Mr. Morton claims, overnight, Meghan Markle went from being a moderately well-known actress to one of the most famous people on the planet. Just weeks after it emerged that Harry and Meghan were together, the Duke's communications secretary confirmed their relationship in a strongly worded statement. It claimed that a line had been crossed as it said Meghan had been subject to a wave of abuse and harassment. The statement added, Prince Harry is worried about Ms. Markle's safety and is deeply disappointed that he has not been able to protect her. It is not right that a few months into a relationship with him that Ms. Markle should be subjected to such a storm. He knows commentators will say this is the price she has to pay and that this is all part of the game. He strongly disagrees. This is not a game dash it is her life and his. The unprecedented royal statement signed off by Harry was the first in a string of comments he made about the pressure on his and Meghan's relationship amid such intense public scrutiny. During the Sussex's 10-day tour of Africa in October 2019. Harry and Meghan were each interviewed by ITV's Tom Bradby for the documentary, Harry and Meghan, An African Journey. Harry was asked by the journalist if he felt at peace about his mother, Princess Diana's death in 1997 or whether it is a wound that festers, to which Harry said the latter was true. He referenced the intense media interest in Diana and added that his deepest fear is history repeating itself with Meghan.